Life is about experiences. The good ones, and the not so good ones. Our experiences are what gives our lives meaning. They become our memories. They make us who we are. So tell me, have you experienced Jesus in your life? The greatest experience of all. Hi, this is Dave Bartosowitz. You know, I have a, a heart for uh, the Mormons. I, I love the Mormons. They're such um, good of people. And it was amazing today, actually, to be able to share Jesus with a number of LDS people. You know, I've had a number of LDS people who I've hugged today and sharing Jesus Christ with them. It was beautiful um, to be able to let them see Christians who really, really love them. They're not here, you know. They, they see Christians many times at places very angry, very contentious, and um, it, they just back off. They can't really trust someone who's trying to fight with them. And if there are any Christians who are thinking about a way of how to, how um, to touch, to, to, to be in a position to love them, right? Think about this. Love them. Love them. Don't, don't just be angry with them and shout out stuff and tell them that they're wrong. Develop this, this incredible gift of love so that when they see this, they see your eyes, they see that you're really, you're really there for them, that you want to help them. Um, that you you want to develop this relationship with them and the only way you can really do that honestly is to smile to have your eyes looking at them in love and not look at them in, in a negative outlet even though you know honestly even though that we are different we have different views and different actual the theological differences right that's still the reason why we're here but you know, part of it is to develop this relationship of love with them. If they can, can see that you love them and hug them, which I have, and it was an amazing experience what I saw today, that um, that relationship will go so much further than you just yelling or being contentious. So remember, it's about hugs, it's about love, it's about really getting to know them so they can trust you. And you know what, Jesus is all about love. And God's Spirit will be there if you truly convey that love to them. So if you know, if you're, you're a Christian trying to wanting to, to help Mormons understand their theology, the only way they're gonna really come embrace you is that you just love them and talk to them that you really care about them. And not just try to give them a pamphlet or, or tell them that they're wrong here, Joseph Smith is this way or whatever. But it's like really bringing the spirit of love to them and, and let them know that, that they can sense it. If they sense that, I promise you, that will grow and give them so much more of an understanding of Christians. And you know, it's your, your, your duty and your right in some ways to be able to do this. We are called to do this. We are called to give this love. And I could see the seeds and the fruit of the people who I've met today, who are Mormons, who were really moved and touched today by how I love them. So think about that. God bless you guys. I know you're out there working hard and thinking that what you're doing is, is good, and it is good, but really bring love to them and care about them in a way that they could sense it. You know, don't put up your guard. Just bring your guard down and just talk to them like it, you're, they're your best friend, okay? God bless you guys. Thanks for watching.